Welcome back guys, uh, today we're going to go over the stats of the car, the designers, the mechanics, and the drivers. So I'm going to start off with the car real quick because it's pretty self-explanatory, tire wear, tire heating, fuel efficiency, and improvability. And these are all determined by your uh, chassis stats whenever you create your new car. Of course I didn't get to create a car this uh, season because it's the first season. And uh, what's really important here is probably improvability, um, but you don't want to lack on any of these. These can give you an edge in the race, obviously. Um, so you want to make the best chassis possible, but I'll get to that once uh, later on whenever we're talking about creating a chassis for the next season. And probably the easiest of the other three is the designer. These are just uh, stats. All you do is you double these and they become the base for your engine, your gearbox, brakes, and all that stuff. And as you can see, her front ring sucks and her rear ring sucks. And that's because, um, well, I chose that because there's no, uh, th it's stock parts um, for the European Racing Series. So you're not going to be building either of those. Uh, it's important to play to your lead designer strengths and get a lead designer that plays to the strengths of the series. And if you don't, if you have like stock engines and you're uh, lead designer's engine is like 30 or something crazy like that. You're going to want to change that rule if you get a chance. So next up is the race mechanics. And these top three are uh, affect the race. Uh, this affects the race a little bit. And then these affect parts. Uh, bringing parts up. So this is just a stat for how quickly pit stops um, are done. How quickly part fixes are done. And how, uh, how often mistakes will happen in the pits. For a good race uh, day mechanic, you want good concentration, good pit stops, maybe part fixes, but if your car is really good reliability, uh, you don't really need the part fixes. Um, and then as far as chemistry, that's just how often, or not how often, how, how fast they unlock these uh, extra traits with their driver. Now this reliability and performance stat, those are, uh, those are improving parts. Um, and as you can see, uh, Gary Watson has a 15 performance and a 13 reliability. So what you do is you want to play to their strengths. So you can switch these out. Um, and as you can see, it changes down here. And that's because their reliability and performance stats are in use. Um, so be sure that whenever you get your race mechanics that you check those two stats. And you want to put the most optimal people um, so you want to play to their strengths here. So next, uh, I'm going to talk about driver stats, which are probably the most complicated. Uh, you got braking, how well they brake. Cornering, how well they do through corners and staying to the race line. Smoothness, uh, how well they do with tire wear. Overtaking, how well they are overtaking opponents. Consistency, um, has to do with how uh, consistent they are in lap times. More consistent, they'll be more consistent. Less consistent, they'll have good lap, bad lap, or whatever. Uh, adaptability is how well they adapt uh, to cars and how you change them. Um, fitness, uh, that it pertains to uh, their actual performance throughout the race. Lower fitness, they'll usually start dropping off uh, in the race. I'm not sure how that affects short versus long. Uh, I would imagine they'd scale it so that it would still affect uh, in short length, uh, length mode. And feedback is uh, that pertains to practice. It affects how fast you learn the knowledge of the tires and the fuel. Um, as far as focus, um, that is how often they're going to make a mistake. Um, so like running into the back of a uh, driver or even crashing out, stuff like that. One of the most important stats here uh, for survivability is this right here. It's not part of the driver stats, but it's very, very important marketability. Um, this is this is how you're gonna make money. As you can see, I'm halfway through the season. I've got my income cost down to 655,000 per race. That's thanks to the medium package, which gives me 40% marketability, and this guy right here. Now, Faith isn't doing us any uh, help here with the marketability. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and this over here just tells you how uh, well they're doing driver form. Um, so obviously Faith has been doing well recently and stuff. 
There's some driver's traits here as well. Uh, they just affect your marketability and your driver's stats as well. Uh, be sure to look at that and know that they're temporary and permanent. So if there's a really, really, really good trait, but it's temporary, if you're looking at that driver to uh, to get, probably just skip it. Um, temporary stats are temporary, so they'll go away. Um, but if you find uh, a permanent stat, especially a pay driver, that is very good. And that's about it for stats. And uh, next episode should be my mid-season check-in. And then I'll do an end of the season check-in. And uh, maybe a couple more episodes after that. We'll see. Thanks for watching.